Welcome to another episode of Shop Talk down here at Page Three's Game Zone in Pikeville, Kentucky. I'm Nathan Varney. I'm Aaron Sawyers. Cody Little. Davina Bryan. All right. We wanted to save the best for last well, and introduce Davina last usual. there. That's why we started at the bottom. Oh. <laughs> what? Moving on. <laughs> uh, this episode, um, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to talk about what maybe are some good suggestions. We get a lot of customers to come in. Uh, a lot of our friends and family even, I mean, I know I've experienced this many times over the years, about what can I get my gamer, or geek, that's a cool term now. Nerd. Yeah. Oh. Friend for Christmas, <laughs> or for any gift, but, you know, particularly this time of year uh, for Christmas, um, as, as something that, you know, maybe somebody that's not really familiar with the industry, um, or even maybe just necessarily with games in general, so... You know, we thought we'd take this time to say, hey, here's some good ideas. Some nice for you to come and pick up and things that you can pick up um, as our friend Lee would say, on the cheap. On the cheap. Right here in Pikeville, Kentucky, down here at Page Three's Game Zone. So um, let's let's just start with what I think that all of us have played. Boss Monster. Boss Monster. Boss Monster. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Boss Monster a is the dungeon building card game. Um one that when it first got ready to come out, um, I guess it was last year, if I'm remembering that correctly. Yeah, 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 yeah. and this this the second edition. Yeah. So when it got ready to come out, we originally weren't even going to carry it here. I kind of turned my nose at it a little bit just on the idea, not because of the art, because that's awesome, the pixel, the pixelization of the art. But I was afraid that it was just a cash in on the popularity of retro games, yeah. um, and we ended up getting a review copy, and it was like, "Oh my, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is actually a really fun game." So um, it's one that has become a, a favorite around the shop. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's <clears throat> the whole reason I wanted to play it was when you mentioned it about the. The retro style of the NES is actually what drawn me to the game. So, I'd not want to be the boss monster. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah. So, what kind of what kind of play experiences have you guys had with this? Oh wow, we've had quite a few. I mean, it, it's fantastic. It's um, it's so fun to to actually play the boss but for is it, change. But is it fun, Aaron? It's fun. Okay. It's fun. <laughs> um, to actually play the boss rather than the, the adventurer themselves, to build the dungeon, and then you're doing other things to to ruin the dungeon for the other players so that the adventurers can continue through and actually damage the boss still. Espionage is my favorite part. Espionage. <laughs> so, <laughs> espionage in, a, in an 8-bit... Dungeon crawling card so game. <laughs> My favorite is when you fantasy get, adventure. When you get Jeopardy's yeah. encounters over and over again. Jeopardy, Jeopardy no counting that. Yeah. Jeopardy, Jeopardy no, you just no. discard your hand and then somebody counters yeah. that. So, and then the Jeopardy again, you counter that, and then you finally Jeopardy, and everybody has to discard everything they have. That was dumb. Yeah, there's a card in the game called Jeopardy, and it had it is a an, a pixelized <laughs> Alex Trebek. With horns, the devil, devil, yeah. Alex. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, it's a lot of tongue-in-cheek humor here. Absolutely. Um, yes. That's it's poking fun at various and sundry things. Nods to classic eight-bit games. Uh, Robo Bobo was one of the yeah from Bob Double Dragon. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, uh, Cerebellus. Uh, Cerebellus. The the father brain. Yeah. yeah, the, yeah. Father brain. Uh, the nod to Mother Brain from Metroid. Yeah. So they had King Toad or something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, King Toad from the uh, the, the, the one Mario. from Mario. The yeah, Toad Wart. 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 Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah. yeah. So if nothing else, it's worth buying just to laugh at the cards at least oh. once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're they're hilarious. So, the entire game. Um, but this is uh, this game. Uh, MSRP on this game is twenty four ninety nine. Mm -hmm. um, if you come in and mention that you watch this video then um, you'll be able to pick it up for 20% off that price. Uh, so you'll be saving five bucks, you'll be getting it coming in at uh, 20 bucks. Awesome. And so, there's also expansion out for it at the moment. Yes. Um, I think we that we are out of it right now, but it will be one that we'll have back in as soon as it's available again. So Awesome. Um, this is normally available 
pretty much all the time, but, yeah. you know, again, we're talking about some games that are kind of like stocking stuffer type games, you know, um, trying to keep them. Uh, this at twenty four ninety nine is the most expensive game that we're going to talk about today. Um, but even at that, you're going to be able to get it for, uh, you know, for, for a $20 bill. Um, so that's um, trying to watch the pocketbook for you as well as get you a good game. Absolutely. And we've also s deliberately selected <clears throat> some small boxes so they ideally will fit in just about any actual stocking. You can actually stick them in socks. Yeah. So, all right. So, Boss Monster is our first game. Awesome. Okay, um, next one, I think. Have you played this one, Davina? Yeah. Okay. I think so, we've, all we've all played it as well. Okay, so here's another one we've all played uh, The Resistance Avalon. Mm -hmm. So, um, a game, this one is for. Um, I, before we go further, I guess we should say that uh, Boss Monster is for two to four players. Yeah. So, don't forget that. Um, Avalon is for five to ten players. Yeah. Um, plays in about 30 minutes. Boss Monster as well plays in that 30 minutes to an hour range, kind of depending on how nasty you're being to each other. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well. um, Resistance Avalon, as well as pretty much any of the Resistance games, uh, 20 to 30 minutes, sometimes even as quick as 15. Um, yeah. I suppose even quicker if it was just a really... Awful luck. <laughs> Depending yeah. on how long you want to take to pick teams. Yeah. yeah. But generally, that, that half hour or less range, pretty spot on. But five to ten players mm -hmm. for this game, uh, you do ha you do have to have a minimum of five. Yeah. Um, it is worth finding five players to play this game. Absolutely. Uh, if you like games like uh, Werewolf or I know they... they Town of Salem. Town of Salem. Online online now. Online Mafia. Now. Mafia. Classic, just Mafia. It's, it's basically those, but you can actually play... With them as you instead of a storyteller who can't play with them, right? Someone actually right. has to join the game. Yeah, there's you don't have to have a moderator for this. No. It's just everybody gets to play. There's no elimination. No, there's you know the, n nobody has to sit out if they get if their identity discovered or anything. Um, you've got one player that plays as Merlin that yeah. knows most of the villains, depending on if you're playing with some of the person various personalities. Um, and then you have the assassin. Uh, yeah. Which. So if Merlin is, isn't careful, even if the good guys, if you will, if Arthur's party mm -hmm. wins, um, then if Merlin reveals who he is to the assassin and to Mordred's party, then Merlin will die at the end of the game and evil will still win. The way I always put it is um, Merlin knows who's good and has to let everybody else know, everybody good guy, know who the bad people are without letting the bad people know he's Merlin. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yep. It, it, it's so much fun. A, a, nice, a nice game of trust no one. Mm -hmm. of betrayal. <laughs> yeah. So. Set in uh, Arthurian themed. Yeah. And yep. it works like, I just, I feel like the Arthurian theme here fits this type of game better than pretty much any other theme that, I mean, whether it's the werewolf theme, whether it's the regular resistance theme, I just feel like that this fits this type of game as good or better than any of the others. Well, yeah. for something that's not elimination, yeah, that's probably my favorite aspect yeah. of it, because, like, I love Town of Salem, but if you're eliminated, you're, you wait waited yeah. out to the end of the yeah. game, but you play something like this, and everyone's involved. The whole time. I, yeah, the whole time. Yeah. And there's an original, the original Resistance doesn't have the Merlin and Assassin aspect, the Correct. special roles. It's just, just so good and bad. That's, that's, Avalon's one of my favorites. Yeah. Really. The yeah. other good thing about the Avalon was that it's super easy to pick up. Oh, oh yes. Dad's a car mechanic, never played any kind of board games with us. He loves Avalon to play with us all the time. Yep. Yep. And that's, yeah, that's a great point that you make there, Cody. I'm glad that you mentioned something like that. Goes, yeah. If somebody's watching this and they're thinking, well, you know, yeah. my insert, you know, my family, my, my dad, my mother, my sister, brother, whatever the, the case may be, oh, they don't, they, don't, they don't play games, you know, or this and that. Hey, right there you go. Yeah. So, all right. Any, anybody got anything else to add about Avalon? I think that's, that's covered. Other that's than, pretty much other all than of it. come buy it, no. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> and, and this one, uh, this one retails for nineteen ninety nine. Uh, same thing will extend the same offer actually to all of these games. Twenty percent off if you come in and mention that you've watched this video for it. Um, so that will save you uh, four bucks on this one. Put, put you in for sixteen dollars. Awesome. Uh, really good uh, gift, stocking stuff or type gift. Um, the Resistance Avalon. 
All right, uh, our next game, uh, Dragon's Horde, the card game, um, a two to four player card game, uh, runs in about the half hour range. Um, another is a, a really fun game, a direct competition, head to head, smacking your opponents around. I think I'm the only one here at the table that has played this one. Um, it is a really fun game. There is a lot of game in this little tiny box. I mean, this is something you could, that you can almost mistake for a wallet. It's in such a small box. Really good. The theme's really fun. Um, the each card in the game functions not only as a, a sheep but also as treasure on one side or the other. So, and you are trying. You're you're playing as a dragon and you're just trying to collect the most treasure, whether it be in sheep or in actual treasure on the other side. So, when you play cards, you have to decide: Am I playing this? Am I using it as a sheep? Or am I using it as gold? Mm -hmm. And so forth. So, um, a really, really fun game. Um, played played several times. My wife, um, my friend Josh, we've, we've got several games of this in one evening and had a blast. Um, it also is another 1999 game. Um, so, this one would be, uh, at 20% off, would be a $16 take home. So, uh, Dragon's Horde, the card game. Plus, it, it looks like, a, if I had a guess, it probably has a lot of dragons in it. Yep. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Charlotte. And and Dargans. <laughs> Dargans. Mm -hmm. Dargans. Yeah. All right. Um, next, we'll go with uh, take a look at uh, No Thanks. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, we'll get the Diamonds. Look at that one. No uh, Thanks. We're not going to do that. No we'll thanks. take a look uh. at Diamonds, uh, a card game, a trick-taking card game by Straw Cold Games. Uh, this one is for two to uh, six players. Plays in under a half hour. Um, I've played games of this as quick as about 12 or 15 minutes. Um, a really fun, easy game. If you have ever played, if you've got f maybe family friends that have played, uh, used to playing games like Rook, Hearts, uh, Spades, and so forth, Diamonds is a fantastic twist on that. A uh, great way to go here. You actually, like the cards that you play actually have abilities but not like in a normal card game sense just the suits if you have to play an off suit card you don't have the lead card the trump card if you will if you play one of the others it triggers an ability so you still get something and you actually are collecting little diamond tokens as victory points uh during the game um and i think it was cody that has also played this one yeah um a, a fantastic game plays really quick the uh, I know we haven't talked a lot about co component quality in these games but that the card quality in diamonds is spot on yeah I mean just as far as the the top the um, the actual yeah. card stock that yeah. they used excellent I like so the strategy the thing uh, ability to add in it's more of a not just a trick-taking game anymore yeah it's yeah. still the basis of it but the strategy makes it a lot better yeah so definitely a, a fantastic one if you've not tried. If you're into trick-taking games and you've not played Diamonds, you really should give it a shot. Yeah. So, and it's something that, again, like, you know, if you've got, you know, even like, say, grandparents. Um, I know my grandparents used to love to play games like Rook and Hearts and whatnot. I really think they would be able to grab onto this game and, and love it. I mean, yeah. easy. So easy it's to play. Really easy to play. So... All right, that is uh, Diamonds from Stronghold Games. Also, two to six players. No, I mentioned that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Either way. Probably has Diamonds in them. Yeah. I like to sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> and the last game we'll talk about no uh, thanks. is No Thanks. That's the only that's bad joke we're going to make? That's, that's the whole trick. That's, okay. that's the whole thing. All right. That's it. Done. <laughs> this, um, another, this uh, game, three to five players. Box time says 20 minutes. This is more like a 10 to 15 minute per on this, if that long. Um, it is another trick-taking style game um, that you want, you d either don't want any cards or you want to try to string things together because lowest score wins. So it's kind of like cards. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It, it's very similar. Uh, the... You get chips, if you will, like poker style chips that you can use to bid, but then they also help deduct from your score at the end. So, having lots of chips left over is a good thing. So, 
Um, and Davina, you have played this one? Yeah. Is that right? Played, yeah. So, uh, you just got to play one, one I think, round, I, I think? I think we played a couple a couple of times, but it was it was a really good game for somebody. I, I know that we've said that about a lot of these, but it's a really good game for somebody that's not played a lot of games or maybe hasn't gotten into a lot of card games because it's really similar to some of the, <clears throat> the older type things like Hearts, like we mentioned before. So. Yep. And it's fun. I mean, it's deceitful and strategic and... Well, it's, it's a fantastic filler game. It's a fantastic gateway style game. It's one that's for families, for friends. I mean, if you can, if you can recognize numbers, what numbers are larger than other numbers, you can play this game. So, I mean, the ages listed uh, are at 13 plus, but I think they have to. Z-Man has to put that on there because of the poker chips, where they're small components. I think to avoid 